Okay, guys, welcome to Sumatera. Uh, so today I will show you how to download and extract uh, same uh, chips rainfall data. Uh, so I, I will download first uh, chips rainfall <laughs> 0 0.25 resolution for my study. So let me share the screen. <clears throat> Okay, let's put it down here. Okay, now we want to first download chips download. Okay, chips download. So you go to this uh, website, chips and for estimate. Uh, and then uh, from this website, you go to chips and for estimate from Wayne Gauge and satellite, satellite observation. So download, go to access chips down here at the bottom here. Go to the first uh link website link here so if you go directly to this index you can select uh global daily data because we want to use global daily data and we want net cdf file and then the resolution that i want to download is 0 0.25 so 0 0.25 you can you have the chips info data from 1981 to 2024 but 2024 is only updated until March today is March so I think it will maybe only until March but so you can download from 2 2023 so you can just click all of this link and then download the data so I have downloaded all the data in my oh that's my external hard disk yeah so I have my external hard disk here so the data is quite big so people who are working on climate data, climate change modeling, you need to have external hard disk so that you can store a lot of your data there. So yeah, let's see here. So I have downloaded the data. This is my data chips here from 1981 to 2023. So because I want only to download the complete year until 2023. 2024 is there, but I do, it's still not until until december so download it and then you will have this data net cdf file okay now how we want to extract this net cdf file by using r so you open your r r r right and then you go to your this is the code that i we we are already right so i put here extract chips 0 0.25 for my study so my you must run this line first rm gcgc memory size or something like that and then library raster uh, install the library raster and then also install the library ncdf4 and then run and then uh go to the grid point grid uh I mean this grid data that you have i have here cluster for my uh, where where i want to extract the grid point for this chips data set is we go to cluster and for so here cluster extract chips here so this is the grid point that uh Uh, this is the grid point uh, where I want to extract my chips rainfall. So I have here for Peninsula Malaysia, let long, I have 178 grid point. So how exactly that I am I I get this grid point actually? So to get this grid point, uh, actually you need to prepare uh, a box plot prime uh, here a box plot first a box plot means that uh, you get the for example in the map in the map uh, Malaysia map right you go to Malaysia map uh, you go to the here But this is how I'm uh, uh, actually get the grid point for Peninsula Malaysia. So you have the grid point here from uh, this box, right? This box. 
Uh, you must, <laughs> you see, you, you, you will get, if you click uh, your mouse, right click your mouse here, it will give you, see, uh, left and long. So I need this left and long and, and make this into a box. Make it into a box. So to make that this box, actually, I will have that and long. So I will have uh, from one until six until seven. So one, for example, just now I have here, which one? One is down here. One, uh, I will, I want. So I will I want one until so I put here equal to uh, this one plus zero point two five zero point two five and then I will get uh, let one until until seven uh, until seven and then another one just now when I want to download is from ninety nine from left here is ninety nine. Uh, from 1990 from 99 so i will get here 99 so 99 down here drag it down something like that so this is how you prepare a box box grid and then down here you just click equal to up here okay here down here equal to 99 up here and then you will download until 99 I don't know, maybe you decide 106 or something like that. So we will drag it down, this value. We will drag this down, the value that we put just now, until until you get 106. Uh, you see, you will get 106 here. Oh, oh no, no. Oh. This 19, 99 should be, uh, it should be equal to plus 1. Ah, plus one, <laughs> plus one, sorry. And then you drag it down until you get one. Let's see. Oh, no, no. It should be equal to 99 plus 0 0.25 okay plus 0 0.25 so it will ah uh, after that it will be correct okay so it should be uh like this just now equal to 99 up there plus 0 0.25 because we want 0 0.25 resolution okay i do this many time already sometimes yeah because this we do in the beginning sometimes we forget so until zero one zero six, so you, you you will get we will get this box 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 grid. This is the same value box grid. So this box grid, uh, you can use. Uh, for me, I'm using ArcGIS. For example, here I already have here uh, Peninsula Malaysia, right? Ah, uh, grid. Okay, I will open this one. Make sure you already have your ship file for Peninsula Malaysia or any of your study area. Okay, this is oh, it's very nice, very nice map actually for my study area. But uh, let's see. How exactly I'm doing? I will do, uh, at least start from the beginning. It's better. <laughs> that, that map is already there to use for my study area in my paper. This looks very nice. You can use this one. But uh, I want to show you from the beginning how we do this. Actually, okay. Okay, you can delete this. So we have uh, Peninsula Malaysia maps, right? And then we can put, just put the... 
uh, Peninsula Malaysia cluster where I put this data set just now. Uh, I think uh, cluster extra chips, extra chip. Okay. So PM Peninsula Malaysia grid. Oh no, and because it's already in the in the home here. Ah, uh, file folder connection. So I need to go to e cluster chips grid uh, GIS uh, chips one soon extract chip. Okay, so this is the grid uh, box plot PM box plot that we already have just now. Go here, open that file. Open this box plot. See, oh, it's not there. So maybe I need to select the one with the Excel file. Uh, Excel file, yeah. Okay. Not CSV file. Okay, Excel file. So you will have. Ah, uh, you see, it will show you. You can see the view, uh, data view. Uh, it will show you all the grid around peninsula malaysia so for this box plot you can just export this data put it anywhere where you want to put it so it will be uh pm grid so this will be the final grid that you, you want you must export it first so that you can manipulate this uh grid and then pm grid here you go to edit feeder start editing Okay, when you start editing, I need all the grid point that is outside the Peninsula Malaysia uh, here. Uh, you can just delete, 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 delete everything, delete, which is not in the Peninsula Malaysia. You can just delete, delete. You don't need this data. It's, it will be zero anyway, because it's on the ocean. It will be zero, even if you extract this data. So you can just delete all this, this uh, data. This is just an example. After you select all the grid point that is fall within the peninsula Malaysia, and then you can you can stop editing. Uh, editor just now can stop editing. Yes. Uh, okay. Now you have this grid point. After you get this grid point, that is uh, you you must. This is just example. You must select only the grid point inside the peninsula Malaysia, and then you can go to properties. Eh, open attribute tables here after you open the attribute tables you go to up here the uh, option up here and then export this data export it as go down here and then you go to your IC and sure oh, okay uh, example here I, I will download it as text file uh, as text file as text file I will put PM grid, PM grid uh, chips. Okay, save it. Okay, no, this one add to the table. No, no need because we want to expect export it as text file. And then you can close this. Uh, and then you go to your, um, you go to your that uh, text file just now. Resource S E N S Ah, this chips grid data. So you we you will have this uh, data with you, and then you can copy all of this. Open the uh, CSV file, uh, Excel, and then paste here. After you paste it here, go to data here, text to column, next, other, here, comma. So that uh, data preview you can see it will. Uh, separated FID with let and log. Next, finish. Okay, this is your let and log. That is the data inside the Peninsula Malaysia. Inside the Peninsula Malaysia. But actually, there is only 178 git point, but this is just a demo just now how to prepare this let and log data that is inside Peninsula Malaysia, That the grid point that you, you will use for your study. So this just ex example. So this I can just delete. 
So you will get uh, Peninsula Gate Point, uh, this one. Uh, actually, this is Gate Point that you will have for your data set. So after you prepare let and long, uh, put the grid here, number one until uh, 78 or something like that. So it's okay. Now, uh, how to extract the chips data that we already download just now. And then we have already prepared our Peninsula Malaysia grid with 0.25 resolution just now. I show you how to do, to do that by using Excel and then put it into ArcGIS and then extract the grid inside the Peninsula Malaysia. And then we use this grid just now. Uh, go, run master, run the, run the grid point. Okay, we want to let long is one and two. Uh, if we if we see our uh, cluster extract chip just now, uh, this is our grid PM grid just now. Uh, one and two, uh, we can just let long one two, and then uh, we find the working directory where we put our chips data. Uh, so my chips data is I put it here just now. This here in this folder, all my chips data here how much is this this size 2.82 gigabyte uh, from 1981 to 2023 so get this working directory put it here run it run this list file function to read all the file and then system and then for uh, i'll break and then holes run so i want to it to to two decimal place i think yeah <laughs> holes run and exact extract the data if in and then it will run so it's now it will run your data ever in data project let's see let's run again it's lost oh yeah this one i put this uh wrong folder net folder because I put last time I only want to extract zero uh, 2023 the latest one but uh, chips this one I want to download uh, all the data uh, but maybe we can I can show you uh, just example the new folder uh, I put the new folder because we want just want to see I will so that we can directly see uh, how to download only one data set uh, exactly hands on uh. so new folder so it's correct now just run this so it will run you see it will take not uh, it's, it's not take long time because it is a monthly uh, 0 0.25 if your data is 0 0.05 then it will take a long time so you see it's finished already this is only for one year but if you want to select download all together just now you can just remove this new folder and put all the file in that folder and then extract chips here and then we can see it. i'm only downloading 1981 just now right this one and then you will get my data is in the extract chips uh extract chip here huh? 1981 here so this is your grid so v1 here is until v178 is your grid point grid point so you have grid point that you extract just now that you use as input to extraction is there so that is the grid point the the is column so you will have the data from 1981 here all the monthly data yeah yes this is how you extract uh, chips data by using by using uh r Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like my video. Thank you.